Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the GPU in your mid-2011 21 and a half inch iMac. So, let's get started. So, in the interest of time, I will not be showing the disassembly of the iMac in this video. Instead, you can click here on my CPU upgrade video where I already showed you how to completely disassemble and reassemble your iMac. So, the graphics card you are going to need is the NVIDIA 770M. M17XR5 version from an Alienware laptop. You can find these on eBay for about $125-ish. That's how much I got this one for. So I will not be showing the reassembly of the iMac either, but once you get to this point in the video on the CPU upgrade video, just of course don't change your CPU, but all you're going to need to do is go ahead and unscrew. There will be a screw here on the heat sink right there and then we need to unscrew these two screws as well as unhitch this connector and un and pull up this piece of tape right here so let's get to it So now once you have unscrewed these two screws here, I would go ahead and grab them off the graphics card just so they, they, just so they don't get lost. But now we are going to just very gently pull the graphics card out from the motherboard. And be careful not to bend your motherboard while you are doing this because the motherboard is very fragile. Okay, so once you have that step complete, you just need to flip it over and unscrew these four screws right here very gently, trying not to damage the graphics card or the heatsink. Okay, so now you can just take this clamp off the back of the graphics card and you should be able to slide the graphics card out of place. As you can see, there will be some thermal paste on it, which we are going to need to apply to the new graphics card, whether you are upgrading or not. Okay, so as you can see, my graphics card is quite a bit longer here. It is a different length graphics card. There will be a few things on the actual iMac we will have to adjust but we will be able to make it work and it will be totally worth the upgrade because the performance will be so much better on the longer graphics card. So you may have to tear this foam piece here. Unfortunately, there will be a few things we may have to tear or break on in order to get this GPU in the iMac. It will also be a good idea to go ahead and scrape the old thermal paste off of the heatsink as good as you can. So just try to get as much of the old thermal paste off the heatsink as you can. And I've already put a little bit on my graphics card, but I'm going to put a hair more. So just make sure to put a little drop right here in the center, about like that. And then you're actually going to notice when you set the card down that this piece right here is actually going to hit right here. So there might be just a hair separation between the heat sink and this part on the graphics card, but there may not, I'm, I haven't screwed it all the way down. It might be okay with just a little bit of pressure on that part of the graphics card because other people have done this before and I haven't heard of anyone having any issues with it in the past so as long as it doesn't bend the graphics card too much it should be good so let's go ahead and screw down these four screws right here make sure to screw them in a cross pattern so to even out the force on the graphics card So as you can see, the graphics card screwed down just fine. There is a little bit of bend in the graphics card, so 
if you want to be extra cautious, you can loosen the screw up a little bit. The heat should still dissipate fine. The car should not get too hot because there's still very good contact being made over here. But if you want to make sure not to bend the car, just make sure to loosen up this screw right here and you should be good. And once you have completely finished screwing your graphics card on, you can go ahead and get your motherboard here and gently push the card into its place. And then we can screw down our three screws. Also, don't forget to plug in the temperature sensor here again to the motherboard and you don't have to, but I would just tape the wire back down just to make sure that it doesn't move around when you are reassembling your iMac. Now, unfortunately, there is one more thing that we may actually have to break on the iMac or so I've heard. So this mount is going to have to move. This plastic mount won't be able to be there if you unless you're just replacing the graphics card with the same size which would be an mxm type a there is actually an upgraded graphics card i believe that you can get that's an mxm type a but this 770m and the 765 those are two common ones to upgrade to they are mxm type b so they are quite a bit longer so i don't have a hard drive anymore as you can see i actually just have this ssd stuck down with double-sided tape there um so i'm not going to be needing this bracket but if you still have a hard drive that may be a problem for you for the graphics because you're actually going to have to break this bracket out of place you're going to have to bend it until it just snaps off the imac or maybe you can just try to bend it down but as long as it's not getting in the way of the graphics card which is longer now so i'm about to uh attempt to break it or bend it to where it is out of the way you are probably going to need some pliers for this so let's get to it so i actually wound up not showing me breaking this tiny bracket off on camera because i thought it was going to be tough but it turns out it wasn't as long as you have a firm grip on the imac and hold it still and you just pretty much just snap it up it snaps right off it is extremely easy but not only will the graphics card run into this, if you have a hard drive, it may actually hit your hard drive. So you may be forced to get a two and a half inch hard drive or SSD. I'm honestly not sure, but I haven't had a hard drive in this Mac for quite some time now. If you saw my video on upgrading the hard drive to an SSD, you would know this. So let's go ahead and start reassembling the iMac, starting by putting the motherboard back in the iMac. Okay, so as you can see, I have the Mac put together and booted up, and as you can see here, it shows that we are running the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770 M 3GB graphics card here. The first thing I noticed though, right off the bat, is that the brightness controls are not working. So I hope there is a way to fix this. If not, I believe the upgraded graphics is going to be totally worth the performance just to not be able to adjust the brightness maybe because a driver issue I'm, I'm not entirely sure but either way it works good and other than losing brightness control as of right now and the boot screen um everything seems to work well so thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and drop a like and if you want to see more videos like these go ahead and subscribe to my channel also i will link the toolkit that i use down in the description in case you want to buy it if you have any questions, as usual, drop them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.